I think, I think the first advantage is that being part of a collective can bid for a larger work package and get a better chance of working with a, uh, a, a prime contractor. That depends on the on the primes being brave enough to work with consortia, and we're only trying. We're, we're only now just resolving that issue, but I think that will come. Uh, I, I think the second issue is there's a, a question of learning by collaborating that they do learn, uh, share best practice, and it also opens up different markets. So I think those are the key advantages uh, for an SME. There's also an, an issue of sharing of capacity. So uh, an SME on its own might not have the capacity to do a wider range of components, but by collaborating, he can leverage his own capability and capacity with others. Well, firstly, yes, it is an issue. Uh, and I think it's an issue because we've, in the 80s and 90s, we moved the economy more towards the service sector economy. When it comes to rebalancing that economy in, uh, towards advanced engineering, the very high gross value added economies, then the products are not in the marketplace because there, there was less need for them. But if we to go forward and grow our high gross value added economy in advanced engineering, we have to have products that recognize that it's a long term industry and a zero to five year time scale is certainly inadequate for the large systems that uh, are, are being built in aircraft. And I think the financial uh, institutions have to understand that these are long-term programs and the, the, the cash generation phase is further away than their lending, uh, their, their lending uh, timescales. Now, if you, if you look at what we're trying to do, certainly through ADS, which is the, the National Body for Aerospace, Defence uh, and Security, we are raising this through government and, and it's at a, a high level within, within BIS. So there is a meeting chaired by Mark Prisk where these issues are raised uh, on a quarterly basis and we are uh, applying pressure locally uh, in, in political terms to our local MPs to make them aware that if they want a successful advanced engineering economy in their constituency these are issues that have to be addressed at national level and for, for national governments not to look at the term of their government for investment but to look at the term needed for advanced engineering and that is a five to fifteen year cycle not the zero to five year life of a government.